guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video, but before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for more videos and make sure your notification bell is on for future ones. But as you can tell by the title and tell by the way that I look right now, we are testing P. Louise makeup. They are kind of like a Instagram based makeup artist academy. I think they just started off as an academy and just kind of blew up on Instagram for their like amazing looks that they do always so colorful so creative and then they came out with their own makeup which is so exciting I feel like they've been around for a while but I feel like the base is what kind of kick-started them and now there's eyeshadows lashes glosses all of that kind of stuff so I wanted to put it to the test for you guys today disclaimer this is gonna be a lot of makeup we're experimenting with color today so obviously feel free to switch out these colors if you want to do something different I am basing it off a look that I saw or her already do which was actually a pink look I just you know you guys said you wanted to see something tealy green so that's what I did before we get started is post notification bell a shout out time and this week it goes to Coco Lou makeup who says love to hear what products you've been loving Rach also your gloss is popping in this video hashtag notifications always on thanks girl if you think my gloss is popping in that video wait till you see this one so if you like the look of this makeup look already then please give this video a thumbs up but if you want to see the p louise products in action what was used and all of that good stuff then please keep watching okay you guys so i'm going to be starting with the eyes first i'm using this picture as a reference i've put it on twitter and i showed you guys i literally just screen grabbed it from their instagram stories a while ago and i asked you guys if you wanted me to keep the pink or maybe mix up the colors and literally so many of you said to do green or blues as you would have seen in the intro that's what I went for been doing a lot of pink lately so I feel like this is something fun to do and since receiving that big PR package from P Louise I haven't actually touched any of it because I wanted to do a first impressions on camera so I'm gonna go ahead and use the P Louise base I feel like this is now like infamous in the makeup industry I've seen the way that they apply this and it's always just to sculpt out the brows first and then all over the lid and they definitely love to use a patting motion so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and and do right now this stuff is like no joke and by the way I'm actually using the P Louise or well, one of the P Louise brushes it came in a set so I've left that linked down below along with everything else I am planning to use one of the other bases so I don't want to take it too much on to the lid area so I'm kind of just gonna place it everywhere that I'm not gonna be using that other base like so this is the shade uh, two by the way I think and then I'm just gonna like pat this and blend it kind of just into my skin I feel like they always use a patting motion I'm not sure like what that does I think it's just so it doesn't get rid of any of the coverage like we want this to be maximum coverage and just get the most out of the products so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other eye okay so I just went ahead and did the same on this eye and I have to say this brush is like so nice to use you can tell the quality of it is amazing and I'm not gonna lie I'm sure it probably can be used a lot fuller but I thought this was gonna feel a lot more sort of like sticky and full coverage when applied to my eye but actually it blended so 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 nicely this is the shade in 02 I actually think I probably would have gone a shade darker because I don't like too much of a bright under eye but I'm sure the formula of them is all the same but yeah so this is this is how we're starting off okay so this is what I am so excited for it is the P Louise the secret Cine eyeshadow palette you guys this is like a heavy duty palette and I swear I've not touched it yet I've not used it at all let me open it <gasps> up is just filled with like so many bright colorful matte shades but we've got our neutrals in there as well literally they're so colorful and experimental with their looks which is why I just had to do a colorful look for this one so I think I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade climax which is yellow wait no actually i think i'm gonna dip into a fair first which is this deep teal color only because i know their technique is to actually like apply the darker color first and then work it into the skin and buff it out so i'm gonna go ahead and try that technique so i'm just gonna use a super precise fluffy brush to kind of create the line of the cut crease that i want to do and just kind of pack it onto the skin buffing back and forth using a small fluffy brush is going to make this so 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 much more easier obviously we are going to carve out the crease so it doesn't matter too much in terms of placement but we want to get as much color on there as possible 
Something like that, and I have to say, you guys, I've barely been dipping my brush in at all to get pigment from that product. These are intense eyeshadows, but no fallout. And I feel that is obviously because we've put that creamy base down and we didn't set it. I feel like if you set your base, it's like powder trying to cling onto powder and there's not really a lot of like going on. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because this is powder on cream. It's really clung. There's been no fallout. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with shadows that have fallout. It just means that they are obviously going to be super, super pigmented. But now I'm just going to dip into that Climax shade, which is the yellow, and slowly buff this out because we want to create a green gradient to tie in with the rest of the eye that we're planning to do. So just making sure to buff that out slowly and going back in with that fair shade if we need to, just to further deepen and define the crease. So I've gone ahead and done both eyes. I kind of wish that there was more of like a tealy, like there's only like a dark teal and a yellow. There's no like in between. So to blend it out was a little bit hard, but I always feel like with cut creases, the kind of heavier they look and then you carve them, the better that they look. So now it is time to carve, which I am so excited for do. I'm so excited and I'm going to be using the basic hint of mint eye base, which is their coloured range. I'm so excited to try these. So I'm just going to, I think, pop a bit on the back of my hand. I'm then going to go ahead and use another P. Louise kind of base brush to apply and carve, but it's quite thick, so I'm thinking I might have to switch it out for something thinner, but we're going to go ahead and try this anyway. So I'm just going <gasps> to... Oh my god. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pop this on the bottom section of my eye first. Oh, I am obsessed with this colour and I love how it hasn't like faded out already if that makes sense. Like the pigment is there through and through. I mean, yeah, I definitely think I'm going to need a kind of smaller and precise brush for when it comes to the carving. But this brush is still good for when I'm just applying it to the base of my eye, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that on the other side as well. I have to say, these definitely feel like they dry quite quickly, but I feel like that's kind of a, a good thing, because then they're not going to transfer, which is perfect when you're doing cut creases. There's nothing worse than like getting this far in a cut crease, and then it just like transfers up and ruins everything. So now I've gone ahead and just applied the base. I'm going to go ahead and use a slightly more precise brush to carve it out. So this is just a little Zoeva Luxe Precise Shader Brush. So I'm just going to go in just basically everywhere that we put the shadow and bring it down. If you're a little bit messy at the bottom, not to worry, we can just use a wipe. Okay, damn pigment. Okay, so now I've done both eyes, and on closer inspection, I really feel like I need a little bit more of a tealer, turquoisier eyeshadow going on, just to kind of blend everything together. So I'm really quickly just going <gasps> to... Wow, I just, like, ran my nail through that. Um, I'm just going to dip into this Huda palette and take this shade here, just to blend it out a little bit more, and then I'll be back. We can apply pigments, we can get glittery. <gasps> I'm ready. There we go. Much better. And now it's time for pigments. Now, annoyingly, I didn't have any P. Louise pigments that sort of went with this look. I had a yellow gold and stuff, but I really just wanted to play on the teal theme, but still kind of create more of like a P. Louise look. So I didn't want to not include pigments. So I'm going to kind of play around and have a little mix and concoction of a few things. So I'm going to take these two pigments from Peach's Makeup. This iridescent teal one is Fantasy and this more yellow gold one is Rattlesnake. And I'm going to concentrate them on the kind of inner more part of my eye. And then on the outermost part of my eye, I'm going to take this pigment from Colourpop. It is in the shade Upshot. And just use that to kind of create a transition because we are are going to go back in with some matte shadows to kind of create a more smoky cut crease. Girl, I am living for this. Oh my god. <laughs> I never do looks like this, so I'm suddenly really gone like giddy. So this is both eyes with the pigment on. The base worked really well to just apply the pigment straight on. I mean, I'm not really going to review the pigments because they're not P. Louise, but they totally go with this look. I wasn't sure if she actually did a, like, turquoise pigment. She might do, I'm not sure. But now what I am going to do is dip back into that affair colour, which was the dark teal, and I'm just going to use this, like, flat top brush, and I'm really going to carve out the, like, bottom line of the crease. 
just to really give some definition. This is also going to get rid of any sort of like transfer that there might have been with the pigments. It just kind of kind of brush it away. But now I look at the picture and you can see they've kind of like smoked up the darkest color into the crease. So obviously I want to I want to recreate this as best as possible. So again, I'm going to take that small fluffy brush with that a fair color and just kind of pack it on the bottom here. So I mean, we're going to lose the kind of cut crease at the corner. Just packing motions I think are the way forward with looks like this. They kind of just create like a smoky blend to everything like so and again like i said it doesn't matter too much if you're messy at the bottom because we can totally just wipe that away with a wipe same again on this side just pat 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 the puss pat 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 the puss oh, blending i'm kind of like trying to blend down because i know we're going to be wiping away and then when i get up to like here just kind of little back and forth motions so the blend is super seamless when i tell you that this look has me gagged this has me gagged like i never do colors like this but i'm just gonna take a wipe now and just wipe underneath the eye just to clean everything up i do want to leave just like a little bit there so it has something to connect to when we do um underneath the eye but holy shit you guys i'm so glad you told me to do these colors because i am living now we have cleaned up underneath the eye what i will say is i do feel myself wanting to go back in with that yellow eyeshadow and just to like i don't know maybe i'll wait till i've done my skin to be able to like properly like blow that out i am gonna highlight my inner corner and i am just gonna take that fantasy pigment from peach's makeup and i'm just gonna use a little bit of lash glue to adhere that to the eye so after i applied that pigment i actually think the rattlesnake one looked better which was the slightly more green one so i'm gonna go ahead and pop some mascara and lashes on they didn't really have any winged eyeliner it was all about just kind of like the smoky shadow so i'm gonna be back to show you the top half of the eye Eyes complete. So these are the eyes with lashes on. These are the Doll Beauty Lashes in Esmeralda. I have linked them down below, but they only stock this style on Beauty Bay. I don't know why they don't stock them on their actual website. You know I love Doll Beauty so much, and I do have a discount code for them. It's not affiliate or anything like that. I don't make a commission. It's just Rach Leary 25 and you can save 25% off on the Doll Beauty site. So if there were any other lashes that you wanted to check out, or their tan their tan you can use that code to save yourself some money but now i am gonna go ahead and do my skin and everything off of camera because the only last p louise product i've got to test is this nude gloss and i'm so excited but i have already kind of done a video on instagram mua how they do their makeup and like the skin is included in that so i will insert a little card here for you guys to click if you want to see a skin video but i will leave it linked at the end of the video as well for you guys so you can check that out there i have actually listed everything that i am going to be using on my skin in the description down below if you don't even want to watch it you just want to know what's on my skin so i am helping you guys out here but obviously this is a testing p louise video and they don't have any base products that i have yet so i'm gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna be back to finish off the eyes and then the lips okay you guys so skin is kind of mostly complete and i've applied a lip so now we can move on to finishing up the eyes i'm really quickly just gonna pop this mark jacobs highliner in my waterline just to kind of tie everything together and then I think to finish off the eyes I'm going to dip the really precise fluffy brush in the shade Affair and just buff that along my lower lash line kind of keeping really close to the lash line and then I'm going to take that Climax shade on a fluffy brush and really buff out underneath to create that green shade again with the yellow and just make everything blend out kind of more smoky and seamlessly. So these are the eyes complete. I have just popped on a bottom lash mascara, obviously, to finish off the look. I have to say the eyeshadow palette is literally if you're a pro MUA, the pigment from those shadows is amazing. And I do love a good all matte palette just because they make the perfect kind of transition shades. 
especially with such a diverse range of colours, I think that it's amazing. And plus, the packaging is just so bougie. I'm obsessed with it. I am actually really pleasantly surprised with the bases. I love the fact that they do coloured bases. I think that's such a cool idea. And I love these bases as well. I think they're amazing for kind of cut creases, sculpting out your brows, etc, etc. They didn't feel too heavy either. And, and the brushes feel like such high quality, especially this one, which is the slightly smaller one that I used to sculpt out my brows at the very beginning. Beginning. I love, love, love the quality of it. I definitely want to try a few more P. Louise products, like the pigments and stuff. But now we can move on to the final P. Louise product, which is their Holla Lip Gloss. I have applied the Morphe Lip Liner in Sweet Tea and the Maybelline Liquid Lipstick in Driver as my nude. Can I just say, this combo right now, I'm living. Possibly my new favourite nude combo, but I'm going to go ahead and pop the gloss on. On. This is like I think their only nude gloss that they do But I think that's just because they do such colorful eye looks that a nude is just the perfect You know color that goes with everything and it isn't too dramatic in terms of taking attention away from the eye Oh uh, Yes, oh my god. Oh honey. I mean Come on Lip gloss is on. I have to say, it felt really thick. Well, not really thick, but kind of more like a balm as I was applying it. And the pigment is just like obviously still there, but it's not like sticky at all. It hasn't made my liquid lipstick separate or anything. And I feel like it's a really like high shine lip gloss. Guys, I'm obsessed with these products. And this is kind of why I wanted to test it because P. Louise obviously just started as their own kind of makeup academy using other people's makeup. And then I feel like when you're just so at one with all your clients and stuff, you start to gauge a feel of what people are looking for and the types of products that you always want and that kind of thing, which is again why I love Doll Beauty as well. I feel like they just know what the customer wants and this is very obviously like heavy makeup and like every once in a while I love doing looks like this but I have to say I was super impressed with everything that I use and I'm like I'm not surprised at the end of the day those girls know what they're doing over there but yeah I feel like this is the finished makeup look. So like I said, this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review and tutorial and just showing you like how their kind of products work, my thoughts on them and just the way that they apply and all of that good stuff. So again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have left the links and the names of everything in the description down below, including everything that I did use on the skin and obviously didn't include it in the video as well. I'm sure I would have popped a picture up on my Instagram as well. If you don't follow me on there, I'll have all the details up there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.